Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and long time no see. I'm sorry I haven't been posting, I, in case you haven't noticed, I'm a bit of a lazy motorbiker. So yeah, but anyway, in this video we shall be reviewing the Hot Toys Doc Brown, which honestly is one of my, uh, well, I'm just gonna be honest. This figure ain't the greatest for a few reasons, and I'll probably need to have all those reasons in a little bit later in the video, but overall, you can't have Doc without Marty, and you can't have Marty without Doc, so yeah. And it was actually a really awesome Christmas present from my mother, so yeah. And um, I love this figure, I definitely do, but I'm, I'm going to acknowledge that there are some issues with it, so yeah. But one of the things I'm going to say right now is that the paint apps, the paint details and everything, like all the freckling, that you can see, like, well, you can't see right now, but there we go. You can see it a little bit all around his face. Small little freckling, and overall it looks really awesome. But yeah, but one thing is, I it looks a little bit too young, and that's a thing that many collectors have said. But for me, well, I find it to be alright, but it definitely needs to be aged up. If they aged it up a little bit more, then it definitely would have been a better figure but there are some other things that i will definitely point out and one in the articulation section but not right now so yeah but overall the likeness of michael j it, michael j fox christopher lloyd is definitely there but not fully as in the movie so yeah but overall it is a really cool figure but yeah there are some flaws and i will point out all those flaws later in the video so yeah but first we sh but let's now get to all the accessories, and then we shall get to get to Dog Brown and all the awesomeness of this figure, and I'll put him in all kinds of poses. But yeah, so let's get on to the accessories, and then after that, we'll continue on with the review. So yeah. Okay, and here are all the accessories of Dr. Emmett Brown. So yeah, um, well, okay, so definitely Doc does not come with a lot of accessories, but they, he comes with a decent amount, but some of them don't really make a lot of sense, and that accessory is the money. Granted, it is a very cool accessory, but it doesn't, like, in the movie, this isn't the, this accessory comes from a different part of the movie where he was not wearing this outfit, which is a very weird choice, so... I don't know why they included it. Granted, am I com like, do I like this accessory? Yes, and I'm glad they included it, but it is a definitely a bit of a strange decision that they went with making this accessory with coming with this specific dog brown. But also, like, it comes with this, well, not stickers, but it's more kind of like, um, well, it's written, but you have to cut it off yourself, so yeah. It says, emergency cash, emergency cash. Well, over here is like, emergency cash. And then the other is like, oh, this is kind of emergency cash. So, yeah. Also, I use this um, nameplate for a display base, and I use a little bit of tacky. And so I can, like, display it like that, kind of. like So it can be a little bit higher, so you can see, and it's not just flat. So, I know, not much of a difference, but that's how I like to display it. So, yeah. Pretty awesome accessory, so that is the emergency cash. So yeah. He also comes with the other version of the newspaper, which is the youth jail, the one he showed to Marty. It's about your kids, Marty. Like they get in trouble and blah blah blah. And if you don't do this and that, this is what happens to your kids. And then just it's I'm paraphrasing because I haven't seen the movie in a long time. Definitely need to rewatch it. But yeah, this is the newspaper he shows of Martin McFly Jr. arrested for theft. Youth gang denies complicity. So yeah. Also, same other articles like cholesterol. Cholesterol may be cancer cure. Three injured w when mom rehydrates pizza, pizza slices. So yeah, basically that is the other. And I'll grab the other right here. Here's the newspaper of the dog show to Marty. And here is the altered one after uh, Marty and the hoverboard chase. So yeah, this is the one that comes with Marty. And this is the one that comes with dogs. So yeah, I, I really think that it is awesome the fact that Hot Toys made both of them and made each figure come with them. So yeah, really cool. Re really cool. So yeah, that. So yeah, that is the newspaper. Same thing, like in the back. Same thing all over again. Just, oh crap. Yeah. 
So yeah, basically same advertisement as different front page of Martin McFly. Yeah, like Martin Youth Jail, Martin McFly Jr. and then the gang jail. So yeah. Oh, it's framed. So yeah. That is the difference of these guys. So I'm just going to put these over here. So yeah. Anyway, also Doc comes with his special futury binoculars. So yeah. Really cool, and also you can kind of see through them a little bit, like you can see, sort of, sort of. But yeah, pretty damn cool. Also, they're kind of dusty, so definitely need to clean these up. So, yeah. And he comes with the, well, I'm not sure what it is, but, um, well, I forgot, but I think it's called the Neuralizer. Uh, no, not a Neuralizer. <sighs> That's Men in Black. But this is the thing that um, Doc made Jennifer go to sleep, so yeah. Really cool, and also it does actually close, so that is a really cool bonus thing. So, yeah, nice job, nice job, hot toys. So, yeah, and he also comes with a watch, which I do not have him wearing because the little lens oh, wow, you can see everything. The little lens inside actually popped off, and you can kind of see, so I don't want to lose it. And I've tried putting it back in place, so I definitely need to glue it, and it's been so long so that's the reason why i don't have it but these uh, uh, these um watches are very very awesome did I, I swear to god did i actually call them glasses at one point oh i am if i did i am such an idiot anyway so basically this is the thing they are really cool because they hide the wrist pegs which are hideous so only one it kind of hides them a little bit like it depends on how you have them like that kind of hides it kind of but yeah, that's the reason why I don't have him wearing it. So yeah, he also comes with six pairs of hands. Uh, him wearing two other ones, like one for like the classic like poster shot of him lifting up his glasses, like great Scott. So yeah, and then he just comes with like this gripping one, kind of like meant for holding the suitcase. And then he has this one, which is meant to be um, hold the new thing, this thingy, the bat, I think. And then he comes with this little thing, like, ooh, where he's just doing a little forced joke hold, so that's another thing. And then he just has another simple, relaxed hand. So yeah, that is all the accessories that Doc, Brown's co Doc Brown comes with. Oh, and of course he comes with the classic glasses. So yeah, and of course one display base, which with an awesome metal nameplate. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Also, it still has the... um plastic over it so i'm not going to remove that so yeah that is all the accessories that comes with doc brown so yeah Alrighty, here's doc and marty i took doc out of his display base which is right over there but um also another thing i just need to say is that with his glasses that he d the likeness is definitely a lot better with him wearing the glasses but also overall it looks nice but yeah also these figures just look awesome together Honestly, I don't know what kind of pose I have Marty. He's just standing there holding a newspaper. Well, not really. But I don't know what to pose Marty with. But yeah, like, Doc's just wearing his glasses, wearing the sleep, sleep thingy, sleep, sleepy thingy. So yeah, but Doc definitely looks a whole, a whole lot better with those glasses on. So yeah. Also, I know, like, in all honesty, like, the facial expression that they went with this head sculpt, not a big fan of. But it's kind of, like, funny. Like, for instance, the first Marty had the shocked head. Now the second one has a serious head. So, who knows? If they ever decide to make another Doc, maybe he has a more of a serious kind of look. So, who knows? But uh, these figures were released quite a while ago. But, yeah, who knows? But overall, these figures are badass. Dark Deck Brown, not bad. Not a bad guy. Also, another thing is, uh, I haven't, I've watched a few reviews, well, not recently, but, um, like, when I, before I got this figure, I watched reviews and all kind. like, like we all do, like, heck, maybe you want to get this figure and you're watching this review to make you decide, so, yeah, but anyway, um, basically, a lot of people don't mention in their reviews that actually it's wired, like, there's wires in here, like, in the bottom, and they're very good, like, here, like, over here, there's no wire, just the bottom, and you can add all kinds of wind effects, like wind-blowing effects, so yeah. Overall, they're really good. Also, I really like the texture they went with in the inside, so a nice little texture. 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 
I'm a nerd. Anyway, so yeah, I don't really like what they want and everything, the see-through, well, the see-through tie, so yeah, it's really nice. So yeah, that's basically it, but the figure is pretty damn nice. It's a pretty good figure, but I definitely do have some issues, and one of them I will touch on in a little bit. So yeah, like, um, the articulation, like the single joint, like a 90 degree bend, but no double jointed, for even though you don't see the, the joints, so why? So yeah, it's, it's annoying, but yeah. No, so it's, they added all kinds of details to his arm, like adding little sculpting lines to make it look like hair. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Let me just... There you go. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad at all, Hot Toys. Not bad. So yeah, it's not that bad. Definitely not bad at all. So yeah. So yeah, overall it's not a very bad figure, but it's not a very... Well, it's a great figure. It's a great figure, but... Yeah, but let's say you're going to get Mari. You can't have Doc. You can't have Marty without Doc. So you would have to get this figure because it really is great, and all, and just everything about it. Just really, just almost everything about it. So yeah, there are some issues, but it doesn't every figure have some issues? So yeah, overall, it's a really cool figure. So yeah, damn it! I keep on saying, "Oh, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool." I always do that by accident. I always do it, but I don't, well, I mean it, but I always say it over and over and over, and whenever I rewatch my videos, sometimes it can get annoying, and I bet it's annoying for you guys too, so, yeah. But yeah, yeah, so that's basically it. So, yeah. Okay, so, um, here is a bit of a pose, and this is now one of my favorite poses of these figures. Well, I mean, like, for this review. In all honesty, I didn't really know what I was doing. Like, I didn't know what to do with this video. Because, well, I don't know. I don't know. I just felt inspiration in what today is the day. I'm going to make this video. And I did. Well, I am. And, well, um, I don't, I didn't know, honestly, what to do. So, yeah, but... Now I got these figures, and overall, they're just badass together. Like, they, I say badass way too much, but these guys, they look awesome together, truly. I just got Marty holding the hoverboard, like, holy crap, these things exist, and Dog's Brown, like, yeah, but still, I'm amazed. Like, that's one good thing about this head sculpt, like, you can, like, have, like, Marty holding something, and he's like, oh my god, that's what I was originally having him displayed if you can if you go back to some of my older videos you can see that pose so yeah but all these guys look really cool together so yeah also i just love the way the way i just love the way the camera picks up these figures and gets all the detail so yeah truly 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 some of my favorite figures of all time mari here it's one of my favorite figures of all time. And Dog too. He's, because you can't have one without the other. Sure, yeah. Truly badass. Truly, truly badass. Alrighty, here's a nice little pose of like, kind of like right after, well, not fully like, but Marty's keeping the almanac a secret, pulling it a little bit out. But anyway, this is kind of after um the, uh, like the pose I'm going for with Doc is basically, well, uh, it's right after the hoverboard rampage and everything, the hoverboard chase, and he's looking at the newspaper, Great Scott, it's changed. Like. Like, you can cut, even see it, like, it's the gang jailed one. Can't fully look at it, because, or why is this, um, something, about, something bad's gonna happen, so, yeah. 
Well, basically, Doc's Brown's just staring in amazement like, holy crap, while well, Marty's in the background. Just hiding the um, almanac. Being careful. But yeah. Also, he's holding the... He's holding his hat, which I definitely would love to own one of those in real life. Those type of hats. So yeah. But overall, it's really cool. It is a really, really cool figure. These are really cool figures. And I love them. I fucking love these figures! So yeah. Okay, don't know what's happening here. Ah, uh, there we go. It's like weird. Like it doesn't fully focus, but then it does. Also, his glasses are a little crooked, but it's kind of meant to be looked like that. Like he's moving and then... Great Scott. So yeah. Definitely need to take some pics and put it on the gram. And when I'm done with this video and start editing, I'm gonna put it in this video as well. So yeah. But overall, it's a really cool figure. Man, I love this pose. Also, again, that wrist, that wrist peg is hideous. It is hideous. If only I could have another watch, which I do. It is it. Like I said before, it is. Broken! And I need to fix it. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I need to do. So, yeah. Overall, I really like this figure. So, yeah. And now... It's time to do some articulation. Okay, I know what I said. I know, I know, I know, I know what I said. I said that it, this was going to be the articulation section. But... Yeah, articulation segment, but I I put Marty in up this pose and I just put them next to each other and they look awesome together and I just couldn't help it so I just wanted to showcase one of those pose and then I will go straight on to articulation set the articulation segment so yeah but overall these look great and Marty's over here reading the almanac like huh oh crap very interesting like he's sneakily doing that actually wait just need to push it up because there's an extra almanac and they're just all black and white so yeah but overall i really like the way these guys look together really cool also i use the display base of marty uh be like to use a light so add a little extra light directly from the side so yeah that's pretty nice so yeah especially these figures look awesome these are some of my favorite figures of all time so yeah I really love them. I like, I, I love Doc's pose, kind of like, holy crap. Like, looking, oh, so, I, this is the newspaper I was using with Marty's pose, like, the pose I had Doc and Marty before I recorded. Like, and I folded the newspaper just a tiny bit, so it kind of has that classic little fold to it, so, yeah. If you don't do that, it's just, like, flat, so it ain't exactly the greatest, but, yeah. Definitely love these guys. Hopefully this video doesn't end up super long, but, yeah. Anyway, now on to the articulation segment. So now, let's get to the articulation, shall we? Okay, and now for the articulation segment. Alright, so... Let me explain. So, one of the complaints I have with this figure, and many other collectors have with this figure, is that, well, it's just a single joint. It's a simple single joint in the elbow. No double jointed, no nothing, just a single individual joint. Which I find, and many other collectors to find, is incredibly stupid. Also, over time, like, the joints can get a little loose. But I haven't posed Doc many times, so that's kind of weird. Who knows? But anyway, um, basically, like, you barely see the actual joint, so it's kind of weird the fact that it's only a single joint, so they could have easily added a double bend. But nope, they just go with a single joint. So, yeah. Anyway, so for articulation around the head, you know what? Okay. I'm just gonna get, come a little closer for the articulation 
and the head is just it's just a single single head joint like it's no double joint like the neck and then the head no it's just one it's just one piece so you go a little round up down side to side twist so yeah and now for the arms you can it's very stiff so you can go about that high Granted, it does get restricted like that, so I guess you could go higher, but not that high. So yeah, again, double, just single joint. Little rotation around here, and the depends on the area you have. And then, you have a butter, butterfly joint. You have a butterfly joint up here. You can rotate. Oh, oh. yeah, you, actually, no, I think, wait. Nope, wait. No, it's actually just a single piece in the double joint, and then over here you can rotate, so, yeah. And for the the chest, well, you can crunch it about that far. Go that far up. Yeah. And for the legs, you can go about that far. There's not that much, but yeah. And you get a double bent knee, and you get a lot of arctic ankle pivot. You get a lot of ankle pivot. So yeah, you can do a lot of things with the ankle. So yeah. Also, I just need to say, I love these socks, and I definitely need to find some. Also, I love the boots. These are some of my favorite parts of the figure in itself. I just love the boots. A lot. I just love them. So yeah. That is all the articulation for the figure. Also, this definitely was the most difficult part to film. The most difficult part uh yeah the most difficult part to film of this video because literally my face is right against the camera because well i will i've lost a little thingy for my big tripod so i have to get a small little table and put it in front of my desk so i'm stretching my arms and that is far that is as far as i can stretch my arms i can still do it but it ain't exactly the greatest so yeah now where did i leave oh okay it's over there so yeah that is the articulation and now and and now, let's, that's the articulation. So, yeah, you can do a pretty decent amount of articulation, although definitely it does bug me just a single joint. So, yeah, that is definitely annoying. But, yeah. So, yeah, that is basically articulation. So, yeah. Alrighty, and that, that about wraps up the review. Um, and obviously, as you can see, I hear... Re recreated the classic infamous back to the future part 2 poster although it, granted it isn't very accurate when the delorean isn't there and also i took a few creative liberty liberties because well in the poster you can see that actually um marty is holding glasses like has glasses on him and he's lifting it like Doc Brown, but apparently, I just realized this figure does not come with that, but um, the original Hot Toys one, the first one from part one, uh, actually it does come with those glasses, but I do not own that figure, so yeah, so I took a little bit of creative liberties, like instead of him holding the glasses up, I put him holding the hoverboard, so yeah. And also, it was kind of a pain in the ass to have these two get together because you need to see a great amount of Doc and a good amount of Marty. But sadly, well, it came out good, but it's not perfect, that's for sure. But it looks pretty good, well, in my opinion. But yeah. Doc definitely looks awesome. So yeah. Although granted, like, it looks kind of like looking this way, not directly in the watch, but like when you look this way, it looks directly down. But with Marty... Like, since his eyes are moved that, like, looking the other direction, you can have that illusion. So, yeah. These are the figures. And also, I had to use Doc Brown, like, put Doc Brown on his display base because, well, you need to have him a little bit higher. And when I put him, like, without it, like, it was, like, super down. And it wasn't that great. Like, it didn't work. So, I had to put him in this, his display base. So, yeah. But overall, I'm really happy with the way the poses came out. And that about wraps up the review. So yeah. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a like. And if you like my... If you've seen previous channels, if previous videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification because you'll get notified about all my videos. And it'll really help me out. So make please like, comment. Like, comment, and subscribe. And also share if you want think that this is an entertaining video and you want to say hi i think my friends will like this so you send it to them so yeah but that about wraps up the video so
So yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.